Hello everyone. So today I want to show you how I'm using pages from the newest update of Procreate. So this function lets you create a document with a pages and I think this is mostly designed for a comic book artist, but I'm using it for, for my sketchbook. sketchbook. I like it very much because I have a feeling that I am drawing in a sketchbook with a lot of pages instead of just drawing on a one canvas. That's why I think I'm drawing loosely because I know that if I will draw something bad I will always have a new page where I can explore the topic a little bit more. So basically that's it, a simple document with, uh, with the pages, uh, but I really like the feeling of, of, of a book, so yeah. Okay, and how you can do this? So first you have to go to your settings, then canvas and then enable page assist and you can see on the bottom of the page appeared uh, this menu and yeah that's it so basically if you want to create a new page just click new page and you have page one and yeah page one and page two and if you want to create some groups or uh, inside the page more layers you have to create a group so if you just create new layer it will just create new page so page number three but if you want to add something more to that page you have to create new then group so swipe to the right group and you can see right now it's in the group that's it and right now you have two layers on one page that's basically it also you can create a background layer so for example if you want to have some texture in the background for example like a paper texture or, or something let me just quickly adjust this yeah, so something like in the background or maybe you can you, you, you want to drop a photo of a uh, of a paper just drag this to the bottom and then click here on the bottom and check this as a background layer so right now this is this is working like a background layer like a canvas for our image so yeah we have a page one with a background page two with a background page three with a background and yeah later you can export it share export like a pdf file here that's it okay one more thing if you want to have that page scrolling effect I'm using the Sitebooks PDF Reader app, so yeah, I think that's all, thank you and see you on the next one, bye!